Welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. Now let's see and discuss about basic construction. So the topics which we are going to discuss in this video of GTEC is let's see about the basic construction along with the examples of how to do and proceed with the problems based on this. So if we see about the basic construction, we can pinpoint about the geometrical instruments which are used to draw a geometrical figure such as it might be a triangle, a circle or else a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is nothing but a four-sided figure or else we can say it as a polygon and it goes on. So these kinds of geometrical figures can be drawn with the help of geometrical instruments along with its measurements. Apart from this, a geometrical construction is said to be a methodology of drawing a geometrical figure using an ungraduated ruler and a compass. You can see over here how the depiction of ruler along with the compass is defined. So, a ruler is there, whereas you can also find the compass projection. So, this is one such depiction of how a geometrical figure by using the geometrical instruments is made of. Let's see some other things in terms of the basic constructions. If you see about the angle bisector, the angle bisector is considered to be a ray, we can say, which divides an angle into two equal parts. You can see the example over here how the angle bisector is defined. Other than this, the bisector of a line segment is considered as a line that cuts the line segment into two equal halves. If you see about the perpendicular bisector, the perpendicular bisector is considered as a line which tends to divide a given line segment into two equal halves and it is also perpendicular to the line segment. You can see the bisector of the line over here. And we must have a point in mind that the perpendicular bisector of any line is 90 degree. It's a kind of straight line consideration. Let's go with some examples for the construction of the bisector of a given angle. So we got to consider angle DEF in order to construct the bisector. Let's go with the steps of construction as follows. With the step 1, you can see point E, point D and point F over here. With point E as center, the small radius arcs, that is G and over here you can find H. So, E, D, it has been intersected with the arc G. Similarly, E, F is getting to be intersected with the arc H. So we have drawn the arcs on the rays E, D and E, F. So these arcs are getting to be intersecting the line E, D and E, F with the arcs stating as G and H respectively. The next step is all about, you can see with the centers G and H, we got to draw two more arcs with the same radius such that they will be intersecting at a point. The intersecting point is said to be called as point of intersection and we can name it as I. So this is the point of intersection. And the next step is all about. We go to draw a ray with E as the starting point. You can see E. So this is the starting point. And we go to pass through I, which is nothing but the point of intersection. So now we can explain that E I is the bisector of the angle. Hope you got an idea of how to do these kinds of bisecting in terms of the basic construction. Now let's go with the other concept that's nothing but the construction of 